I'm Tim Wilson and I do a Udemy course on Illustrator for the iPad. I've been working on it for quite a while now as one of the beta testers and we are going to now look together at doing something like this. This uh, fairly complex infographic is actually a lot simpler when you break the whole thing down. And I'm going to take you through it step by step. Now on our Udemy course, we cover these type of projects. We do a number of others from logos to maps to all sorts of things, as well as going through all your tools and your panels as well. So have a look at the links down below for our courses. Let's jump straight into this. So this is what we're going to be creating. Um, <clears throat> It looks all 3D, but it's actually an optical illusion. They are just flat shapes, but we're going to be using so many gradients, gradients for the, the arrows themselves, gradients for the highlights, gradients for the shadows. And then we're gonna do some text stuff as well to get the text to sort of skew itself around. Anyway, don't be too uh, put off by the complexity. It's actually a lot simpler than it seems. Anyway, let's jump straight in. We're gonna be doing this bit by bit so that you can see exactly how it works and follow along with me. So let's get started on this awesome infographic. What I've done, rather than you sitting watching me all the time doing it slowly, is I've made up some colors. So if I go to my color area here, um, you can see in my swatches I've got um, various new colors. And my colors are in sort of three sets of colors. Mine are fairly subtle, very similar colors, but if you want to, you can go with, you know, totally opposite colors. You know, you could have oranges and purples and greens, or whatever you, you wanted. But what we do want is we want four shades of that color. So over here, I've got this sort of seafoam green, and I've got four shades of that. I've got four shades of a bluey purple, and I've got four shades of the blue down there. So you want it going from dark to pretty light. They don't have to be perfect, all of them, just as long as they're roughly, roughly correct. Now, the one thing that I do like to do is I don't just change the lightness of the color. As I make it lighter and lighter, I often move the color along the color spectrum. So for example, here, if I click on this sea foam, you'll see that over here it's on the um, sort of the greenish area up there. If I click on this color, you'll notice it's moved slightly more towards more green. And it just gives you a sort of an interesting twist on the gradients that we're going to make from this. So before we move on to the next lecture um, in this project, if you'd like to make yourself up three sets of four tones each, as I've done here, once again, Use my colors, choose your own, it doesn't matter. If you need some inspiration, just Google infographic arrows and um, have a look at the pictures and see what people are doing color-wise in there. Well, of course, you could use your smartphone if you've got Adobe Capture on that. So now that you've got your colors, let's make some gradients. I will do them onto a shape. So I'll just make a shape like that. Now I'm going to go across to my gradient and I'm going to choose a linear gradient for this. So now I can go to my gradient and let's start over here. So on this point here, I'm going to be using the darkest tone. And on this point here of the same color set, I'm going to be using the lightest tone. And then just in a little bit here, maybe about, whoops, maybe about 10% in, I'll click in there and I'll use the medium dark tone. And then over here in the middle, I'll have the semi-light tone. And that's what I want from the gradient. Now, once I've got that gradient, I'm gonna click on the little plus in my swatches to save that gradient. So let me go on to the next one. So I can now reuse this gradient here. So I'll start with the lightest. I'm going to have the lightest blue on there, on that side, the darkest of this sort of purpley blue. Oh, now I've missed it a bit. Over there, sometimes you have to be a little bit more careful clicking on the right area, darkest blue on there. This one here is going to be the next purpley color and this last one here is gonna be that lighter blue. 
Once again, I'll click on plus to add it into my swatches. And I'll do the last one now, so you can see it's the same thing again, choosing the darkest tone. I'd like to do the darkest and the lightest um, over there, and then I'll just work through the others. I think that's the correct one, yes. And this one here is gonna be the second to darkest. Once again, click on plus to add it in. So I've now got three gradients in here. So there's this one here. There is, let's make a copy of that. Uh, this one here, I'll make another copy and this one over there. Going from dark through to, to light. And when you look at them, if they don't work together or you want to adjust them, by all means go in, make a change to them and just resave your new gradient. Get on with that, then we'll start building in the next one.